Finally, brothers, pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly in be honored, just as it was with you. And pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men, for not everyone has faith. But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Over the next few minutes, we'll meet three Christians who have experienced persecution because of their relationship with Jesus Christ. They refuse to abandon their faith in the midst of heartache and pain. As we hear their stories, let's commit ourselves to remember to pray for them and Christians just like them. That in the face of severe opposition, the gospel will continue to spread rapidly through their efforts and that they will be delivered from evil men and that God will strengthen them as they advance His kingdom. Vodata has a beautiful smile, but behind that smile is a great deal of pain. After her husband had been injured by a machete and her father-in-law killed in a previous attack on her village, militant Muslims, some of whom she knew from the area, returned. They forced their way into her house, she says, because she had refused to become a Muslim. At the time of the attack, Vo was seven months pregnant. They shot me in the hand, in the stomach, and when I tried to escape, they shot me in the leg and I fell down. Up until that point, Vo had been carrying her two-year-old son on her back. I don't know when my child fell off my back. After shooting me, they set the house on fire. So while crawling out of the house, I got a burned hand and the child was burned in the fire. Vo was taken to hospital in critical condition. She would later learn that her unborn baby died of a gunshot wound. I've handed everything over to God and pray that God will take care of me. Despite all that's happened, I will continue to work for God. And even if I'm killed, it will mean I was killed in the name of God. Abed converted from Islam to Christianity in 1995. He was drawn by the love of Christians he had met and challenged by a teaching very different from what he had learned in his Muslim village. Abed began to love everyone as he shared his new faith with family and friends. In the weeks following his conversion, he was arrested nearly a dozen times and eventually jailed, beaten and tortured. They hung him up in the air and forced him to go without sleep for days. They uh, tried to sit me down on a, on a leg of a, of a chair. They tried to, tried to, let, to let me sit or to sit me down on a bottle. Uh, it was hard. I cannot uh, describe it. And uh, it, make, it makes me like uh, crying when I remember that uh, that situation but uh, I feel I feel that this suffer uh, as a privilege from the Lord because I suffer for him Abed was told that if he didn't renounce his Christian faith the sentence would be death Abed cannot return to his home and family for two years, a relative of Abed's, another believer, has hidden him in this bomb shelter. He sleeps on the concrete floor, knowing that if he is caught by the wrong people, he would be killed. Nellie Trevillo Tavar and her husband of 22 years, Cornelio, were walking home after a Saturday evening service when suddenly two men from a terrorist group leaped from the shadows. Gunfire rang out in the night. I said, God, why is this happening? Please don't let this happen. Pastor Cornelio died in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. I lifted my eyes and my hands to heaven, and I said, Lord, I want your will. This is when the Lord helped me to know and see it's necessary for one seed to fall into the ground in order for the gospel to be spread. My husband had the spirit of a martyr, and I know he was ready to give his life for the gospel. Pastor Cornelio and Nelly spent several days each week evangelizing in rural areas. Many farmers and farm workers were led to Christ as a result of their efforts, 
and souls who joined the church rather than the terrorist group that killed Pastor Cornelio. Pray for our brothers and sisters around the world. Pray that they will continue to spread the gospel. Pray that they will be delivered from evil men, knowing that God is faithful.